to start you'll want to find north. As you can see, my spray is useless for that, so I open a previous mech dupe I have, and look at the direction it's pointing. First we'll start with the hip. You'll want a large hip prop, larger than the distance from the left side of the left leg to the right side of the right leg. This will act as the base plate of the mech. Now let's add on some legs. I'll start with a lower hip block, to help position the legs. After that I'll place the leg segments how I want it to look. Do not add any constraints at this point, just position the pieces. Now we add on the feet, make sure not to make these too short or your lower legs will hit the ground when you walk by clipping through them. Here comes our first DAC tech entity, the gyro. The gyro is what acts as the mech's control center. Be sure to make sure the arrow points forward on the gyro, and make sure the hip plate has the same angles as the gyro. DAC tech entities are parentable, so we create a wire gate with the parent option box ticked, and the weld option box not ticked, then parent the gyro to the gate, which is parented to the base plate. Now using advanced ball socket we create our constraints, starting with the upper leg to the hip. Make sure to select the pivot point of your leg when you place the constraint. I'm using minus 150 to 150 x axis rotation and minus 0.1 to 0.1 on the y and z axis. Feet can be axis centered to the lower legs. The constraint between the upper and lower leg is more complicated. We must figure out which way our rotation goes then give settings based on that. I use a copy of the original to find these settings before applying it to the main copy. After the constraints are all set we should test to see if the mech skeleton acts as a rag doll. Make sure to no collide feet to lower legs and lower legs to upper legs and upper legs to hip. You'll also want to make an advanced battle socket between the feet and hip with free movement on and an X rotation of minus 20 to 20, so that the feet don't flip over when walking. If we are to pilot this mech, we'll need a seat, so place one of those onto the mech. We'll also need a pod controller for the wiring. Link the controller to the chair. Now we wire the gyro to the controller, pick the controls you want, and wire to the proper entities. You won't have the hitboxes at this time, so let's place them now. Hitbox controllers in DACTEC allow you to create health pools for sections of your vehicles. Please read up on the rules, and look for future tutorial videos on them. Now let's get the hitbox controllers and seat parented on. For now we'll place them onto the mech and quickly create a health pool with the two leg pieces and foot prop for each side. We'll need a reactor to power the mech, just create one and parent it onto the mech. Now back to the gyro, we must wire the hitbox inputs to the hitboxes and link the gyro to the engine with a linker tool. Make sure to increase the weights for stability on your mech. 500 kilograms for the feet and hip and legs is good for a light to medium size mech. Now our mech is functional, but the walking animation doesn't look great. While looking at the gyro open the C menu and select edit properties. Using this menu we can edit our settings as we wish. Longer stride lengths will slow the walking animation. Now we have a working mech. It's not much, it's pretty shaky, and it has no firepower, so there's still much more to learn. Be sure to tune in for more tutorials as they come out.